From seeing red to seeing orange, today marks a new day of hope for a lot of San Diegans, including our businesses. Yeah, orange now the color of hope here. Our county is now in the less restrictive orange tier, which does pave the way for more reopenings, higher capacity in places. News 8's Chris Grow joining us live along the Embarcadero with how this is going to impact all of us. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Eric and Netta, and look, a lot of good news really all at once yesterday for not only the state of California, but here in San Diego County, having the ability now to go from that red tier to the orange tier, and then we're looking at in June potentially having no tiers at all restricting any businesses. So let's start with that orange tier right now and what it means for not only you at home, but also for these businesses, potentially even your employers. As we've been saying, we know that it will be a big change for shopping and retail centers, no capacity limit at stores or malls, restaurants, museums, movies and churches. They're going to be moving up to 50% indoor capacity. We know that bars that previously didn't serve food indoors, well, they're going to be able to serve outdoors and Places like Petco Park are going to be able to enjoy a lot more fans. 33% increase or an increase to 33% from 25%. Now, as for getting rid of that blueprint for a safer economy and getting rid of the color coded restriction tiers, the state announced that yesterday because of the fact that we've had more than 20 million vaccine doses administered, 4 million administered in those hard hit low income areas. And so what it would look like is starting on June 15th, most everyday activities and business operations that were previously restricted can resume all at once across the state, not county by county. There are conditions, though, to make sure that that is possible. The vaccine supply for those 16 and older who wish to be inoculated needs to be sufficient and hospitalization rates need to be stable and low. We're going to keep a close eye, not just on that hospitalization rate and number, but actually understanding who's in the hospital and whether those who are vaccinated are the ones who are hospitalized. And as for that 16 and older, remember the entire state is going to be moving to that benchmark for vaccine app appointments on April 15th. So, you, you know, that that is the timing that they're looking at 16 and older April 15th and then potentially by June 15th having the entire economy open. Of course, that is going to come with one caveat that mask mandate will still be in place. Eric and Netta.